good day friends it is me hl mod tech and today i want to get back with you in tinkercad and create a sweet rocket with some special parts so my friends let's get cracking of course step one is to get into tinkercad and click create new design let's start by bringing out a cylinder I'm going to take my cool little rocket and I'm going to hit the fit view so I can zoom in. Notice it has flat sides. I'm going to make it a little taller and I want to change the number of sides to something that fits my fins. So the smallest I can go is 12. So if I put a fin on the first flat side then skip three they'll be spaced evenly. Let me show you quickly what that would look like. If you hit the basic shapes and do all we like to go down to page number 13 on the all shapes to find the swept NASA and then I'm gonna put my first fin on this side right here by clicking the flat work plane bringing it out once again I'm gonna do that fit view so it zooms out and I want to look at it from a corner of the cube because that lets me find this awesome rotation tool if we stay on the red remember it snaps to these long lines see how it's tick 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 snapping if you move your mouse a long ways away it goes one degree at a time we know the correct number is 90 so we want to get it right there i'm going to zoom out to see it all and then i want it to line up exactly with that so watch this we grab the two pieces and we hit center and we want them to line up in the middle and then i'm also going to line them up on the bottom so there is fin number one. Now remember we talked about doing four fins, so I'm gonna click somewhere else, put my work plane on the ground, and I'm gonna click on the cylinder, and I'm gonna fit it right to that size. So if I've got one fin here, that means I need the other fin exactly opposite it. So I'm just gonna hit this corner here so I can see it from the other side. Let's go a little higher so I'm sure I'm looking at the exact opposite side. See how it'd be right across? And I'm just going to do that same step to put my work plane right there. Bring out my swept NASA. Click fit view so it goes to the right size. Find my corner view because it's easier to see from those corners. And there's my rotation handle. I could also just go crazy and type anything and then change it to 90. That also is a fast way. You'll notice it is upside down so I'm going to rotate it again. And this time I'm going to go 180 degrees. So now I've got the right side up. Go back so I can see everything again. Grab them all. Do my align. And I want to once again make sure they're centered like this. And to the bottom. This is where it gets kind of fun. We can set the work plane back to the ground. And these two fins are beautiful. If we hold down shift and select both of them. Use the sweet duplicate. We can just rotate them 90 degrees. And they will line up right across from each other just like they're supposed to be. At that point, we can go back to our rocket and make it round because that looks a lot cooler. And we can stretch it up to the height that we want for our rocket. Before we go any further, let's quickly name this by putting our name up on it. I'm going to put Rocket Mike. It helps if I can spell. And then if you want to do that same trick for a five-sided or a three-sided fin, let's go back and I'll show you real quickly. Uh, if we hit basic shapes, we just need to take a cylinder and set the size to something divisible by five. My favorite one is 15. I'm going to just click the box and type 15. Once again, let's zoom in on it with the fit view to selection. And if we wanted five fins, we would just skip and do every third because 15 divided by three is five. If we wanted three fins, we would skip five between each of them. Of course, we could have solved the three-sided fin from our original 12-sided cylinder as well. And if you want to do a fancier fin size, just make sure you do the math so you know how many to skip in between each one. The next thing I want to show you is how to make what's called a transition, which is what you put between stages. Click the work plane and put it on top of the body tube, which is where we're going to put our transition, which will be a cone. You want to make sure it's all lined up. So I'm going to take those two parts right there. I'm just touching the two of them. And I want to click the align tool and I want to go center and center. Now you notice that moved it from my fins. Let's fix that by quickly selecting those two, hiding them, grabbing our awesome fins that we know are perfect and grouping them so they stay in the same spot. Now when we go back to show all, if we set our work plate back to the ground and we grab everything and do that align, we can really quickly do center center so that it is all lined up the way we expect it to be. 
Now this looks more like the top of a rocket than a transition. Let me show you how easy it is to switch it to a transition stage. We used size 20 for our first part of our rocket. If we make this size 10 for the top or size 8 for the top radius, check it out. It starts to transition to a skinnier body tube. Let's do a 5 instead. That looks pretty neat. I'm going to switch instead to a 6. And that's going to be the shape of my transition as the rocket switches from stage to stage. I'm going to shrink the height to what I choose. You can pick whatever number you want. All right, friends, let's add the next piece of our body tube. Click the work plane and click on our transition. And then check out the size we chose. I chose 6, so that means my cylinder needs to be size 12 when I bring it out. If I set it up there, you'll see it's too big. We're going to hold down shift and stretch it a little, and then we're going to type that number we needed. Remember, mine was 6, so that means two sixes of the radius would equal 12, and now it fits perfect. I'm going to grab the entire project, and I'm going to use a line again. And remember, we've got to align it on the by clicking the little dots on the sides. We're not worried about the up and down ones, because that's what makes our rocket awesome. With that in place, you can go back to the normal work plane, with that sweet stage added now we can stretch it to the right height and make it really round you could also add extra fins and cool things like that let's real quickly add a nose cone to our rocket once again using the work plane and then you can pick all kinds of cool nose cones maybe the pyramid maybe the half sphere i am going to use the paraboloid and when i bring it out Remember, our size here was 12, so we're going to use that exact same trick where we hold down shift, stretch it crazy, and type 12, and it'll fit exactly the right size. I'm going to use fit view so I can zoom in and double check it. You can see mine says 10 instead of 12. That means I just typed the wrong numbers. I'm going to stretch it big again, and I'm going to type 12 and press enter, and now it fits just the way it's supposed to. All right, friends, we need a place to put our crew. Let's use Fit View to zoom in and let me show you how easy it is to do that. Do Duplicate and then do Control Down Arrow to move that duplicate down. You can kind of see the line underneath. We're going to make it easier to see by just hiding the body tube. Take that one that is down below and make it a hole. Select those two pieces. Notice it says two shapes and hit the Group button. Right there, you have all of a sudden got the capsule where you can build the seating and other things that you need for your people. You can make it easier to see inside by turning it transparent for a moment. You can also simply hide that little piece and then build in the center of this area, just making sure you leave room for when you bring it back, they're not sitting outside the shape. You can use that same technique to make awesome rocket engines. I'm going to just bring this down to the ground. I'm going to fit view to that size. Do control D. And once again, I'm going to do control down to move that one below two chunks. Turn the second one, making sure I grab the second one, into a hole. And when I group those, you have now got an awesome engine that you can use the sweet shift and grow trick to make it whatever size you want, duplicate, and upgrade your rocket to crazy awesome levels. Friends, I hope you had an absolute blast with this, making this rocket your own, making it totally awesome. Make sure that when you're done, you've completed all the aspects you need for the design brief and have a final creation that even NASA would be proud of. Friends, if you found this video useful, please hit that like button. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.